Hello, stamping fans. It's Laura Z with LauraZStamps.com, and we're going to show you something really fun and cute. This is uh, my fourth day of my Christmas Ideas 2013, and this would make for a really fun little treat to put at everybody's place setting for the holidays. And we're just using some designer series paper, and the color that I'm using on this one was Cherry Cobbler but the one we're going to use to do in front of you here is going to be the Island Indigo color. So let's get started. We're going to use a piece of designer series paper, and it's double-sided, so I'm just going to choose this side. It's 5x5. Five five. We're going to use the Simply Scored Scoring Tool, and we're going to score it at one and a quarter, two and a half, and three and three quarters. Then we're going to use our awesome new envelope punch board, and we're going to turn, yep, we're going to have the score marks going down this way, horizontal here, and we're going to put it at one inch punch, and three and seven eighths and punch. Then you're going to fold this under, start again. Same thing on each line. I'm going to be one inch punch. Oops. Gets a little tricky with the with it folded over. Okay, three and seven eighths punch. I'm going to turn it again. Kind of boring. We're just punching. And then the middle. And three and seven eighths. There we go. Clean up our mess. All right. And there's our pieces right here. Before I do this project, I always use a template. I find some paper I haven't used in a while, and I use the template first. And it works really well that way. So then I can go ahead and use it, because I, I don't like to make mistakes with the regular paper. So what we have here, we're going to decorate. And I'm going to use the Island Indigo. And we're going to be using Festive Flurry. Love this stamp set. I'm using the smaller snowflake. up here. Okay, so we're just going to get started and just ink a few places. All right, so there are my pieces. All right, you can, if you want, sponge the edges. I'm not at this time. I'm just going to add some Andes candies, and a fun, interesting factoid. The Andes candies, those famous little mints, are actually made a town over from me. I live in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, and they're made in Delavan, Wisconsin. And the nice thing about this, these candies are peanut-free and gluten-free. So really fun little treats. And I'm just going to place them in here. And basically how this goes together... You just fold it and glue it down. So I'm just going to place so it doesn't move around too much in there. And you can always add a little tape on top. There we go. And I'm adding tape here and here. And you just want to line it up and 
There we go. And then I'm just adding some Whisper White ribbon here. Just two pieces. And just tying the edges. I'm all butterfingers tonight here. There we go, just tight like that. You don't want it to fall out. And you definitely don't want to use anything like little M&Ms or anything tinier than that because it'll fall through the little holes here. And you definitely want to use the lighter paper. I use the designer series paper. You don't want to go with the cardstock. I don't think it'll do well punching through everything. So you want to go with the lighter weight paper. All right. Dress that up a little. Okay, so we have our item decked out. And now on this piece over here... Yep, I like it. Okay, so now... On a piece of just some scrap cardstock, I'm going to use the Very Merry. And this comes from the Very Merry Tags. Okay, we're just going to ink that up. Stamp it. And let's see. I'm going to re ink that. Alright, and then I'm just going to punch out. Add some dimensional to pop it up a little bit. And there we go. Add a fun little treat. And there you go. We have our cherry cobbler one and we have our island indigo one. And I hope you like it. It's simple, fun, cute, and I hope you'll try it perfect way to add a little treat at the table for the holidays. Merry Christmas, and come visit me at laurazstamps.com. Enjoy!